Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. This is James. Give us a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to click on that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We got so much cool stuff coming along today. Today I'm joined with author Andrew Fantasia. He wrote this really small short novel called Side Scroller. Andrew, show them that book quickly. It's my shortest novel. Buy it on Amazon. You won't be disappointed. And then when there's a windstorm outside, you put whatever you need under that. And yeah. it'll, it'll say, anyway, side scroll Amazon. Let's get right to it. We just got four thumbs down right away. No thought. All right, let's get right into it today. We're talking Black Adam reshoots. Everyone's crying. Oh, reshoots, reshoots. No one knows what's going on. The DC overhaul is upon us. Um, but I went over on the hashtag, to hashtag show, not their toe, and I started reading a few <laughs> articles over there. And then I also was looking at some other articles from various other websites, some reputable, some not so much. And I started looking at them, Andrew. And everybody seems to be on the same page that these reshoots are like many reshoots. There's no cause for alarm on them. They are what they are. This is standard practice. However, what I have been finding is that these reshoots, there are two uh, main ingredients to these reshoots. One is... They have been doing test screenings for this film, and it's testing pretty well. Not over the top, I don't think, but pretty well. And so they're enhancing, they're doing these reshoots to enhance what audiences have been uh, drawn to and really enjoying in the movie. So they're going to be adding more to that. Mm -hmm. and the other side that I've been hearing is that they're looking to add a, another uh, famous DC character. No one knows quite no one's quite sure who yet but they want to add a famous dc hero who is in other films right now an actor or actress that is high caliber and they want to bring that character into this film as well and apparently that is because their scheduling seems to match up with these reshoots and whatnot but also andrew uh these reshoots are only expected to last about two weeks okay everybody who's worried everybody's got these reshoots getting them all panicked relax just have a seat and relax i'm not saying this movie is going to be great and i'm not saying it's going to be bad either i honestly have black adam could go either way at this point but okay. reshoots are the most normal thing in the world they are the most they're like they are part of the process it's part of the filmmaking for a movie to not have any reshoots is weird that's when i'd be like oh okay right it's it's just part of the process. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Now, in terms of the movie itself, I think what some people might be not up in arms about, but just puzzled about, and in this case, if this is what it is, I kind of understand and agree with them, is that this movie, you know, started production in, what, 1974? <laughs> so it's like, it's been in production for so long. And it's like, oh, you're still not done? You're still not satisfied? So I get it if that's where people are coming from if there's like geez like when's this going to be ready but if it's a matter of adding stuff in to connect i think that's a wee bit worrying james because there's another movie that just did that called morbius and the right. fact of the matter is morbius was too afraid of its own self that it felt like it couldn't stand on its own two legs and it had to be like no vulture oh, no no venom um, and I'm worried that Black Adam might try to go that route too. Uh, so I hope that's not the case. I hope if they're adding this new character or whatever, it's just for, you know, to serve the story. Because Black Adam's an interesting character. Isis is an interesting character. You've got the, the Justice Society. Like, you've got plenty Hawk of work. Hawkman! Hawkman, finally. Dr. Fade, finally. So there's so much there to work with and to have faith in that adding connective tissue at this point is unnecessary, A, and B, DC, we don't even know if DC is going to connect anymore. It's, it's still up in the air because of this discovery thing. So uh, if that is what they're doing, then that, uh, that's concerning. But I still sit where I sat 25 minutes ago, which is I don't think this movie is going to be great or horrible. Yeah, I'm with you on that. The only thing I can think of is this got delayed from July to October, which could be because they needed, you know, these reshoes. Maybe they put that into account and they would just they, that be, they put the cart before the horse and that and they knew it was going to come. So they did it. The other thing, though, is Shazam 2 comes out like two months after in December. And yeah. maybe, maybe 
they're adding Shazam to Black Adam because that is the one character Shazam. Maybe a Wonder Woman cameo of sorts can make sense to me because of the gods and all that. But to me, if you're adding Shazam into it, then I'm I'm like okay, these like, it starts to make sense. Yeah. But like you said, they, they say they're focusing on well, the, there's a few problems right now with where they are and in DC land is is they they don't have a plan right now like like that and that if it wasn't clear already it's now become abundantly clear like they've made it known they're looking for somebody to help with the plan to to create a plan so that's one problem is well what are you doing the second plan the, the second problem is if it's filmmaker driven like they're saying it's going to be why wouldn't they like why would they force feed this stuff in there unless again it's shazam which i think it should be but this movie doesn't feel like it's director driven to me from what i've seen with the little clips that we've gotten i hate to say it i know the rocks in it but the rock it's just you know you look at the batman you look at joker and you look at Zack snyder and i'm adding in the, the, the snyder cut specifically but batman and superman and man of steel too mostly though i would say justice league is the most Zack snyder of the three i think i would argue because man of steel was kind of like he was in it's his but there was nolan like there were you know yeah. it was there's it was a lot of nolan in that dna yeah and he kind of like and i love his justice league right but i think so i think those are the th- and, and and i'll say james gunn suicide squad as well those are four films right there that are very like director creator driven this one doesn't feel like that and if they're going in that direction it's I kind of hope that, you know, I don't even, I can't remember who's directing this film, but I, I think it's somebody actually yeah. somewhat prominent though. I hope that, I hope this, they have kind of sent a note being like, you know what? We're going to have, tr- I, this is not happen, but we have some faith in you. What can you bring us? And if it fails, they can blame the director. And because the, the one thing we talked about this off camera, but the thing with Feige and they want to find their Feige is Feige, if Feige had a failure, he has. Hey, they have had failures, failures as recently as Eternals. All they have to do is be like, nah, next one, you know, and then you course correct in that direction. If you don't get along with with Derrickson on Doctor Strange two, you hire in Raimi. There's like Feige is perfect. Edgar Wright Ant Man. Remember that? That was. Do you remember that was a disaster for like a month? Everyone was like, How can this happen? Oh my god! Oh my. Pan and Reed came in. There's three of them now. Well, there's two. One's coming up. People love Ant-Man. Ant-Man, they, they did a great job with Ant-Man. You have to understand you have to have a structure. So I'm not sure where they are with Black Adam. And that's one of the things that's very confusing about all of this. Uh, is if you're bringing in another character, that's not Shazam. And that's why I think I think it's got to be it's got to be uh, Zachary Levi as Shazam. Yeah, you're right. That makes absolutely the most sense. I mean, learn from learn from Venom. You saw Let There Be Carnage, right? I think you just saw it recently. I own it. You own Let There Be Carnage. No soul, zero souls, w- like walked away after the end of Let There Be Carnage and said, man, I can't wait to see Venom fight that detective with the glowing blue eyes in the next movie. Nobody, zero. Uh, everybody is saying, when are we getting this guy on the same screen as Spider-Man? Uh, so whatever happens in Black Adam, you're going to have the same deal. You know, if Black Adam has a, a post credit scene where it's like, hey, remember that really evil doctor who had a scene 45 minutes into the movie? He's coming back for part two. Who cares? He's a Shazam villain. Put Black Adam with Shazam. So that's going to be on everybody's minds during this film. So yeah, why not throw Shazam in there? I keep calling him Shazam. That's the name of the wizard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, DC geeks. Please don't bite my head off. Um, put Billy Batson in there. Uh, uh, Captain Marvel, if you want to get technical, and have him, uh, you know, tease some kind of confrontation with Black Adam for the future. Because otherwise, like, like, know your audience. You have to know what your audience wants and what they care about and what they don't. Simple as that. Yo, I was all in. Give me Toxin. I'm all in on that. I, toxin. I, Blue-eyed. To- is that who that is? Blue-eyed man is Toxin? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got... To- oh, I can't find it now. I had something. I was like, oh, it would be perfect to show you. And now I can't find it. <laughs> Oh, right here. Look at this. What is it? Let's see. Ah. This is uh, Game Boy mm-hmm. Spider-Man 2 Maximum Carnage. Oh, Wait a minute. Maximum Carnage on Game Boy? I didn't even know that existed. Well, it's Spider-Man 2. I don't know if it's Maximum Carnage. It might not have been. I see Carnage on it, though. He's a mean I think I just I think I just called it Maximum Carnage as a kid. Oh, I can't open it. 
Oh my god, this thing has been shield, sealed shut for like 20 years. I can't even. Oh. There we go. Got it. Check it out. Look at that. Whoa, dude. I got this game when I was, I don't even know how old I was. It was a gift I got. I did. It's one of my favorite games. Impossible. I can't. Impossible. Just like near impossible game. One of my fa- all time favorite games. I'm a huge Carnage fan. When I got this, I thought his name was Carnage. Carnage. No, that's the villain from Tailspin. Yeah, I thought, yeah, exactly. Don Carnage. I thought that was his name. That's probably why I thought that was his name. But unless they're putting Shazam in this movie, I don't see. I, or you know, I I will give him leeway on Wonder Woman, but I don't know if it's going to be Gal Gadot or not. It's just because of the gods and, and that that mm-hmm. aspect to it. I can understand that, and Black Adam can have some in with the, that. But I don't know. I just I hope we get a good movie and i hope shazam 2 is good look the early word on these test screens is they are good but that doesn't really mean much and i'm hoping uh that you know there's obviously no cause for concern because they are reshoots but i I, like i hope you like what you said is morbius i don't know what they reshot for morbius or what they just kind of did to make it seem terrible in morbius but they botched that up because of a knee-jerk reaction to a movie that came out in december and i'm hoping shazam or black adam doesn't have that the, they're not doing the same thing and at this point in time i don't have any faith in warner brothers or dc uh because just the other day they came out and said they don't have any faith <laughs> in themselves and if they don't have any faith in themselves and no and it's and it's the the you know the the patients running the asylum i just don't know i don't know what to make of it and i'm not sure why and right now they have to convince me that I should be looking forward to Black Adam, to Shazam, to Aquaman, to The Flash, because if it's just a jumbled mess, why am I like Marvel? We know why we're excited because of the next one. The Batman, we know why we're excited because it's a good film. Joker, same thing. Suicide, the Suicide Squad, same thing. And Zack Snyder stuff, same thing. It's like even though the Zack, like Man of Steel wasn't about what's the next one. It was about Man of Steel. Um, and Batman v Superman, for the most part, is about that, right? It's that's what it's about. Is about those two characters kind of figuring out each other, and and he, they didn't. I mean, he kind. I think he got his hand forced a little bit to go further. But then even Zack Snyder was able to fight it with the Justice League, and he's like Superman. Because I remember watching it being like Superman died too soon, but his death is what this Justice League movie is about. And it's like, okay, I get it. This all is starting to make sense. This is like you have a plan. Mm-hmm. Even if you didn't, like Snyder and Feige, you don't have a plan, but you're course correcting and you're making it seem like you did. That's what I appreciate. And right now, I just, the people that they have do making these things, I, I just, I, I don't know. Are you familiar with the Rowan Atkinson show, Black Adder? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Every time I hear about this movie, I hear the music from Black Adder. And now if that music does not show up in the movie, I'm going to give it a low score. You heard it here first. <laughs> Sounds fair. All right, everyone, we're going to wrap it up there. Let us know in the comments below what you make of these Black Adam reshoots. Are you afraid? Are you concerned? Who do you think will be showing up in the film? I'm game for more Hawkman. If they just keep bringing Hawkman, Hot Girl, maybe. We just keep bringing them all in. Let's do it all. Let's see what they got. Andrew, plug your book one more time. My book is called Side Scroller, and you can find it on Amazon right now. Trust me, it looks shorter if you buy the uh, the ebook version. But buy a copy for yourself and several of your friends because that would help me out a lot. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. But until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.